So it sounds like Sony will support and continue to make games for the PS3 until 2015, at least. What's up guys, welcome back to Review Space, and yes, I just want to talk about some Sony PS3 news? Ah, yeah, sure, let's just call it news. Vice President of Hardware Marketing John Kohler said that Sony will continue to support PlayStation 3 at least until 2015, and maybe even longer if the development continues. So speaking of the PS3, there's a game called Dust 514 that's going to be included in the $270 bundle with $30 extra DLC. This game, Dust 514, this is a free-to-play first-person shooter that's set in the EVE Online universe and supposedly there's going to be like interactivity between the two games as well. And uh, Colder, he actually said that the Xbox 360 fans are eager to buy a new console like the new PS3 bundle with gaming content right out of the packaging with Uncharted 3 Game of the Year Edition and Dust 514. That's kind of like reminiscent of the PS2 owners back in the day buying an Xbox later on uh, for Halo and all these other games. And I do remember that time period. You know, this was like in the early mid 2000s. All my friends that had a PS2 back in the day, they would end up buying the Xbox as well. They would go for the Xbox because they would hear and they would see the graphics and the quality of the Xbox Live experience. So it was kind of kind of interesting to see this transition from PlayStation 2 uh, loyalists and Sony loyalists and fans. And then they would end up switching over to the Xbox or at least buying an Xbox as well to add along to their uh, gaming experience. I know that 2012 is like the final year of the PS2. I mean, this is the last year they'll be putting out games for the system, at least the official ones. I mean, I've already talked about the baseball game and people are saying, well, Pro Evolution Soccer and all these other soccer games coming out, there's going to be the final ones. Well, we'll see, right? And I'll be probably be talking about those as well. It's very reminiscent of the PS2 life cycle. 2015, that's a good nine years, you know, of the PS3 life cycle if Sony actually sticks to their word. I, I'm pretty sure they will because they're definitely confident about the PS3. You know, they, the PS3 is still a strong console. It's not a PS2 anymore. It's not like this system is somehow, oh, it's so outdated to the point that you can't put all games for it. You can put some really quality games for it still. The problem with this is that because of the looming release of the PS4 and the Xbox 720, we're gonna get ports instead. You know, the, these lesser ports, these lesser downgraded versions of the modern game. So we're gonna have ports of sports games. We're gonna have chock full of ports that are maybe not as good. You know, these inferior versions of the actual current gen games. Let's say that, you know, Crisis 3. Or not even that, uh, Crisis 4 or Grand Theft Auto 6, Grand Theft Auto 7 comes out, but it's a port for the PS3. We get the real versions, the PS4 versions and the 720 versions, but then they put a port for the PS3 and it's like a lesser version missing all kinds of features. I mean, who really wants that? You know, kind of like a downgraded version. And that's sort of what happened with the PS2 as well. And I think that's my biggest fear is that the PS2 received so many horrible ports, especially these PSP ports that were inferior to the original PS2 uh, franchises to begin with. Like Grand Theft Auto, freaking Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories that came out for the PSP. They were inferior to the San Andreas and the freaking Vice City that came out originally for the PS2 and yet then those games were ported onto the freaking PS2 as well just to make a quick buck. Even games like freaking Siphon Filter and Tomb Raider Underworld, these originally PSP uh, bound games and then they moved over to the PS2 just so they can make a few dollars off of it, you know, just to sell a few more copies, but they were in fact inferior versions of those PSP games. So what are we gonna see, right? What are we gonna see? We're gonna see uh, PS Vita games, you know, games that came out for the PS Vita and then being released for the PS3 just to sort of designate it to that, oh, that lesser system because the, the systems are more similar. You know, you, you have a handheld PS3 in the Vita and so let's put out those games that came out for the Vita on the PS3 as well just to, because they're lazy, you know, because the developers are lazy because they just want to port a, a, a game that's meant for the Vita, a handheld game, onto the freaking PS3. They don't really want to make a new game anymore because let's be honest, they're going to focus more on the PS4. They're going to focus on the next generation. That's going to be the current generation. 
They're not going to focus on last gen stuff. They didn't really care much about the PS2. Yeah, it, it, they're still putting out games, but just a bunch of ports, just ports, and that's uh, that's it. But you know what? I guess I can't complain too much because if you got a PS3, then you're going to have more games. You know, people are just going to keep putting out games for it, even if it's just crappier ports or whatever. There's still more titles that's going to be included in the freaking library of the PS3. It's like the more the merrier, I guess. I mean, it's better than nothing. If there's one thing that I really want them to put out for the PS3, I want them to have more collections and like legacy titles. You know, back in the day, the PS2 had a lot of freaking collections. They had a lot of three disc boxes. They had all these different things coming out, these old school games. I mean, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, you got Sega Genesis Collection, you got uh, Metal Slug Anthology, Street Fighter Anthology, Mega Man Collection, Mega Man X and a, uh, Collection, all these different collectives and different uh, compilations of great games from back in the day. I wish they did that more with the PS3. You know, games that came out in the last generation, maybe even last last generation, original PlayStation games. How about that? Include some, you know, maybe have an anthology of the Crash Bandicoot games. You know, that would be kind of cool. I don't know if they already did that. I'm not even sure. I mean, they're doing that a little bit with the freaking Sly games, you know, and the God of Wars and Ratchet and Clanks and stuff like that. It would just be awesome to see, you know, Jack come back, you know, bring back some Jack games, bring back some of the exclusives that came out, you know, uh, something like, I think it'd just be awesome if they actually included all these different anthologies from the PlayStation era and uh, even the last generation, the PS2 era, just a nice compilation of more exclusives, more games like that. It doesn't even have to be exclusives, as long as they're classic titles and you can play them on the PS3. Heck, the size is there. Uh, Blu-ray uh, discs are large, much larger than freaking DVDs. You can put so much content in those discs. I mean, just there's so much possibilities in terms of collections, collections, collections. All right, well that's it for this episode of Review Space. Really, pretty much a slow day when it comes to video game news. Well, thank y'all for watching. Until next time, ciao.